Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem 7 with that emulator guy. Uh, on the last episode, we started Chapter 7X, the side quest for uh, from Chapter 7, and uh, we kind of... I think I might have screwed Kent. Uh, yeah, just, just throwing that out there. Um, so let's move on, shall we? Uh, yeah, it's not that... I really didn't put him in a good position anyway. Um, yeah. Not the best idea I've ever had. But... Let's go ahead and open this chest now. Okay. Um, hammers are effective against knights. That's really all you need to know about them. I can only pray that, uh, Kent doesn't get killed, because I kind of screwed him by accidentally using Nils' power on, uh, Sarah instead of Matthew. Okay, that's good, that's good. Cool. I'm, I'm cool with that. Ooh. Staff heal. So, yeah, um... <laughs> I really just didn't... I, I was in such a hurry to get done with that one little bit because of the time limit and everything that I just like completely just forgot everything like about what I was doing. I forgot that it, it the you automatically target the character to your right. Or wait, it, no, it goes up, it goes clockwise from up, right, down, bottom, or left. So, yeah, that's something to keep in mind whenever... Whew! I love that Monikati, because it's really critical. Heh. <laughs> no pun intended. Or was there? Uh, no, there really wasn't. But, uh, yeah, so... There's really nothing much left to say about this chapter. I mean, other than the fact that you need to kill this guy, I mean, that's... Well, that goes without saying, though, so... Yeah, there's really nothing... ...much about it, to be honest. You just kill him. So yeah, I think I'm gonna start fast-forwarding through... The so yeah, I think I'm gonna start, uh... Fast forwarding through all the battles and stuff, because it's just the same thing over and over and over again. I mean, you've seen it a hundred times in this LP, I'm sure, so. Yeah. Pretty much. That's about how it goes. Uh. I should be able to end this pretty quickly, actually. Um. You know. You know how it goes. Should be, but that doesn't mean I will. So, let's go. I mustn't fail. I cannot fail. The consequences are too... Ooh. Yep. Play for him. Um... Let's go. Come at me. Uh, really, there's not much to the game. Like, I mean, there are a couple of new things introduced later on, but for the most part, it stays pretty much linear and uh, self-explanatory, really. Beat the bad guy. <laughs> Beat the bad guy. Seize the platform. Whatever you gotta do. Do it. Um. Whew. Wow, that just about wraps up the thing, too. Whew. Uh No, I, I cannot. Give us the ring, and swear us this oath. You must promise to leave these two alone. If I have your vow, I'll spare your life. Failure means death. Uh, what? Poison? He took his own life. These are no common brigands we're dealing with. This man was trained by a well-organized group. What do they want with Nils and Ninian? Um... Nils, Ninian, everything's going to be fine. As long as you're with us, you'll be safe. But... 
You witnessed our victory, right? With Jason's planning and my sword, you've no worries. If we all work together, there's nothing we can't overcome. I don't care who comes after you. I'll not let you be taken. Really? Yes, on my honor. Right, Jason? My lady. Oh yes. This is yours. Ah, it's... You called it Ninny's Grace, didn't you? That lout had it. Lady Lindis, thank you so much. I have no other words save thank you. And that ends the chapter. Um, we're at roughly six minutes. I, uh, I think I don't. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and read this part. Passing through Erafin and Catholic. Len and her friends arrive in Kylan. However, Kylan is now under the rule of Lord Lundgren. Lundgren's henchmen lay in wait to assassinate Lynn. They wait for her approach and ready a special weapon. Ooh, that looked like some giant archery. Okay, uh, I'm going to stop it right here. Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, see you again next episode. Bye!